object, quick effects and quick fur. And this is something you should get. Um, it's quite Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to create this cute stylized bed because it's the spooky season again and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do please don't forget to leave the like and if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the most effective way be sure to check out my courses, I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills through local illustration all the way to full character illustration and textured environments so if you're interested please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all we'll create a body for the bed uh, which will be very simple so uh, let's leave the camera in place let's ditch the light so press x and delete and now again the default cube will get a chance to shine because we'll use it so let's select the cube tap into the edit mode and press 3 for face select select the top face and press s and scale it down and now press ctrl r to create a loop cut right here left click and confirm and now we can press s to scale it up a little bit like this now tab out and let's go to the modifiers panel and let's add subdivision surface modifier with two levels of subdivision and this will be something that we can work with so let's just click this arrow here and apply and now let's add another subdivision modifier and let's increase number of subdivisions to two and now we can tab in and create the space here for like a little teeth. Um, so let's select these two edges right there. And let's enable proportional editing and press G then Y and move them back, but reduce the fall off like this. And we'll need to push this back as well a little bit, maybe with a little bit larger fall off. And now let's select these two, disable proportional editing and push them down like this and a little bit towards the front. So this is something we can work with here. Um, let's now right click and shade smooth. And now let's create the wings. So let's look from the front. Let's press shift A and add plane. Now tap into the edit mode and we can press R then X and 90 to rotate these 90 degrees and confirm with enter. Now let's press S to scale it down. Tap out and press G and move it right here to the edge. So the origin point is kind of near the edge of the body here because we'll need to move the wings around here so let's step back in and press G and move the plane rotate a little bit and make it smaller and now let's go for vertex select by pressing 1 select these two words and move them like this and now we'll press E to extrude and move this one down and again select both press E to extrude and right here we'll continue this curve but here we'll go in a zigzag way like this and one more here okay and now we can press A to select all E to extrude a little bit tab out and press ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface modifier Let's look from the front and now let's enable X-ray view, select both of these at the bottom and let's make this more sharp. Here we can make this a little bit rounded. Okay, and let's increase the number of subdivisions to three, right click and shade smooth. And now in the modifiers panel, let's add mirror modifier and let's choose the eyedropper tool and choose the body here. So we can now look from the top by pressing 7 on the numpad, tilt them back a little bit and move them towards the back and maybe rotate them a little bit like this. Okay, and let's make them smaller. And now of course we'll need to create ears, so let's step back in and um, just for the sake of simplifying this, let's enable X-ray view, let's select all of these vertices on one side press x and delete and let's add mirror modifier here and let's enable clipping and move this above the subdivision and now we can turn off the x-ray view press 3 for face select and select these three faces right here and press e to extrude and now let's modify the shape so let's look from the front and again we'll enable x-ray view press 1 for vertex select and just move these around a little bit to round it up a little bit better like this 
And now let's press Ctrl R, create a loop cut right here. And now we can curve it more towards the middle. So they look a little bit more like a mouse ears. Okay, just like that. And I think I will select all, press S, then Z, and compress this a little bit down. So you get similar shape like this. And now let's create the eyes. So let's turn off the X-ray view and let's press Shift A and we'll add circle. Let's modify the number of vertices to 16 and press G then Y, move it towards the front. Now tap into the edit mode, press Ctrl F and choose grid fill. Now let's press R, then X and 90 to rotate 90 degrees. And let's press S then Z to scale it up a little bit. And just like that. And now we can tap out, make it smaller. Let's look from the front by pressing one on an unpad and just press G and move it somewhere here. And now we'll go to the modifiers panel and choose shrink wrap. And with the eyedropper, choose the body. And this will basically wrap this onto the mesh, but we'll need to move it closer. So press G then Y and you can see how I'm moving the origin point closer to the mesh like this. Now let's look from the front and we can place it a little bit better. Make it larger if you want, just like that. And now let's add solidify modifier. And we'll go into the negative values right here. Like this. And now let's add subdivision surface, just like that. Right click and shade smooth. And now we'll duplicate this. So press Alt D and duplicate. Right click to release. Uh, but here in the shrink wrap, we'll remove the cube, choose the eyedropper and choose the original eye. So we are shrink wrapping on that one and press S to scale it down and move it right here. Now, of course, we'll need to move it outside a little bit. So it's in the front. And now we can move it right here in the middle. And now let's just add mirror modifier for both. Choose the eyedropper and the body as the center for mirroring. Like that. And of course we can make it larger. Like this. And now let's press Shift A and we'll add the circle again. Let's press G then Y, move it towards the front. Tap into the edit mode and scale it down. Now press E then Z to extrude, as to scale. And now let's look from the side by pressing 3 and Ctrl right click here and scale it down. Press F to fill. Now we can tab out and add the subdivision surface modifier. Let's look from the side and place it right here. Let's look from the front. Press G then X, move it to the side. We can make it larger and push it back a little bit. Right click, shade smooth and we can add one more level and again we'll use mirror modifier here and the eyedropper tool okay i think this looks quite cute well, let's move these towards the front and move the whole thing down a little bit just like that okay so that's the bat and now we'll use the quick fur effect um, with the new hair system um, that comes uh, since the blender 3.5 um, it's a little bit different from the original hair particles and it took me a while, um, you know, to um, get around it. So I wanted to show you how you can easily use um, this, you know, new hair system to quickly generate fur if you want to create like, a, you know, plush stylized objects and stuff like that or toys or, or anything you want to create. So let's select the body here. And first of all, I will apply the mirror modifier here. And now let's reduce the levels to one. And again, we'll apply this and add one more. So we get a little bit more denser mesh um, for the hair generator. So let's keep this at one. Now let's tap into the edit mode, press A to select all and shift N to recalculate normals in case they're messed up. Um, this is the first thing we need to do. And now press U and we'll unwrap this. Um, doesn't really matter that much. I will just use the smart UV project here and click OK. Now tab out and we'll go object, quick effects and quick fur. 
and this is something you should get um, it's quite messy but we'll um, get it under control just in a second uh, first let's explore what happened here um, so we have our original object right here and if you expand its children that there's a curved object as a child and that's our you know hair curves um, you can easily just go into the edit mode and um, basically modify these hair um, just as any you know curve or you can use the scout mode which will basically trigger these hair editing um, tools same as you were used to with the particle systems and hair grooming so you can groom it right here you can choose the comb and you know change their direction or anything you want so let me change back to the object mode and the way you change the properties of this hair is here in the modifiers panel. Uh, basically, the whole hair system works now on the, the geometry node system. So all of these um, that are added by default are, you know, geometry node modifiers that are prepared and pre-generated for you when you use this quick fur effect. So you have some basic stuff like um, curve profile, which basically determines the shape and the thickness of the hair um, then interpolate which will generate you know more hair particles for you or more hair curves basically very similar to the hair children on the particle system before and now you have the noise and some frizz and stuff like that to make them um, you know not so uniform so let's expand here and i will modify this effect to something like 0.5 i don't want this to be so random so let's do something like this and now you can see this already looks quite okay so now let's preview this in cycles so i'll go to the render settings switch to cycles gpu and enable the noising okay and let me go for something like 512 for the samples and in the viewport as well now let's look from the camera by pressing zero and now if you press n for the side panel um, in the view settings you can enable camera to view so now you can use your viewport controls to position your camera so let's look from the front like this okay don't forget to disable that and now press ctrl b to limit your render preview only for the camera bounds let's press n to hide the side panel and let's press shift a and choose the light and area light press g then z and move it up and let's scale it up a little bit now let's add some power like 150 let's hold z and switch to render preview so this is how the hair look um you can see um it's quite sparse um we'll need to increase the density quite a lot so let's select the hair and in the modifiers panel let's locate the interpolate node group and we'll increase the density from 800 to something really strong like 5000 and later we'll go even higher so let's choose 5000 but you can already see this generates quite a nice fur and it really looks nice with this kind of creature with this kind of character um, but i don't like how these are going through the eyes so let's select both of the eyes by holding control right here and first of all we'll increase this distance like this maybe make them a little bit larger move to the side and now let's select these and here in the shrink wrap modifier will increase the offset so they go outside a little bit more like this maybe even more and we'll see about that later so now let's select the bat and in the material settings we'll modify this to black color and let's give the same material to the wings and now let's select the fur and right here you can see there's only diffuse color there so let's use nodes right here and we'll switch principled to principled hair and now let's modify the color to black and you can see this looks really nice and now let's increase the density once more so let's go back to the modifiers and i will go for something like 10k and with this material i will go higher with the roughness so it doesn't get so much reflections now select the eyes create a new material we can go something like yellow right here and reduce the roughness and now since these are link duplicates we'll need to separate the material so let's click here and choose object and create new material let's go black and reduce the roughness okay just like that 
and we can leave this white Let me go all the way here and now let's press shift a let's create a plane press g then z move it down tap into the aid mode make it larger move like this and let's go in lower and now select the edge in the back press e then z to extrude select this edge again and press ctrl b to create the bevel and increase number of segments with the mouse wheel right click shade smooth and create a new material this will be the background so let's go dark with the full roughness and now let's press shift a and we'll create a light and a spotlight press g and z move it up and now let's switch the pivot to 3d cursor and we'll rotate this and increase to something really strong like 5000 maybe even more maybe 10k and let's give this like a orange color so we can create nice rim light around the bed here and now let's select this light press g and z move it up and let's move it around a little bit so it goes to the side mostly i'm looking at the reflections on the eyes here so let's change this to disc and we can increase the power to something like 500 okay and let's make it smaller just like that and now we can duplicate this so shift d r then z and move it to the other side and here we'll go something soft like 150 and the blue color from the side here so we have some ambience and now with the background uh, let's press shift a and create an area light press g then y move it back switch this back to medium point press r then x and point it at the background make it larger let's change the disc and increase the power to something like 1500 and let's go something like green so we separate the bed from the background a little bit better like this and now let's play with some color management in terms of the contrast settings exposure and of course you can play with the world color as well to blend this together a little better and i would reduce the specular here on these wings okay so that's your you know really cute plush um, vampire bat for the spooky season of october i really hope you enjoyed this one and again if you did please leave that like and if you're new around here hit that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day